Hello, YouTube. Um, it's been a really, really long time. And I just wanted to say that I am actually not here for you guys. I am here for Tumblr. I wanted to say thank you to everyone for following me on IRL Ruby Rose. 200 followers. Amazing. Thank you. Um, I love you all. I don't interact with as many of you as I wish I did. Um, and so this video, I was going to answer some questions. But before I do that, I had a list of... <sighs> what happened to my list? I had a list of people that I wanted to thank. Um for contributing to why I'm here. Um, I don't know what happened to that list, and that bothers me. Um, but in the meantime, um, I'll get to that later. Maybe I will find it as I'm doing the video. Um, I had originally asked for everyone to... Um, you know, see if, like, because I am in real life Ruby Rose, I wanted to see if people wanted to ask Ruby any questions as well. And I got maybe two out of 20, so I decided against getting into the cosplay and doing the whole shebang. Um, I will answer the questions in Ruby's voice, and that's about it. Um, for now, I have to redo this whole thing so I can try and find the missing oh no where is everything frack I'm sorry guys I didn't I didn't plan on this being as difficult yes I want to view these files okay all right maybe maybe I'm gonna get it now um <laughs> sorry for that so anyway tumblr people hello and welcome to everything that is me right now. Um, I'm going to bring up the asks and do them. Nope, that's not it, that's not it. Documents. Let's try this one. Nope. Okay, let's try this one. Nope. Let's try this one. Definitely not. Um, jeez. I'm real sorry, guys. I guess this is just not, not gonna happen. I can't edit this video either, so I very much apologize for everything. Um, I really should just be focusing on you guys. And I will, right now. Right now. I will. Um, I really wish I had that list. I'm so sorry. Okay, these are the, these are the asks that I saved on my, uh, on my, that's a Word document, rather than on my blog. If I'm boring you, you know, you can just stop here, like the video, say, hey, I watched it for like five seconds. That's that's cool. I want to try and keep this as short as possible. We'll see how that goes. Alright, so first off, let's do the anonymous uh, asks for the video. If you had money to spare, what would you do with it? Or, if that's already been asked, which it has not, because this is the first one. Um, they're actually in backwards order, but whatever. What are your thoughts on the flavor water? I have something for that. Okay, if I had money to spare, what would you do with it? Go to KatsuCon. <laughs> Which I can't, because it's happening right now, and I miss it, and I really, really wish I was there. But I don't. Or, if I had money to spare, I would buy a car so I could travel anywhere I wanted to. Or, if I had money to spare, I would buy an apartment so that I would live on my own and enjoy life as a person without people around me. That would be cool. Um, flavor water. I actually do think that water sometimes has a flavor. 
and I believe that the flavor water itself, when it's purified, is palatable, I would say. Uh, when it's, when it's from, like, a water fountain, and you can taste all the, all the metal in it, you know, it's like, oh, uh, one time I actually shocked my mouth. I've done that a few times, I actually shocked my mouth on, uh, water coming out of a water fountain. You might not believe me, but it happened. So there. Next question. Can you do some of Ruby's lines from the show? Any will do. Thank you. I'm going to save that question for the end when I do anything that has to do with Ruby. <laughs> Tumblr crushes? Favorite, favorite Tumblr role players? Um, okay. Well, let's see. Tumblr crushes um, would probably be Jean Vomit Boy Arc, who was the first Jean, Jean I ever role played with. The first, I think, the first Ruby role player I ever did anything with on that blog. Um, I was gonna give a shout out to her too. She's freaking awesome. Um, and uh, Wukong Warrior, who does an amazing son, flipping awesome. He's like spot on wonderful role player has great story ideas just go check him out guys he's <laughs> amazing <laughs> um favorite tumblr role players those guys obviously um uh yang burns gold who changed his name to the gold burning beauty he's pretty sweet he's pretty awesome um uh that one nora i guess uh Ru what is it ruby norin penny um, she's really cool. She's very nice. She promotes me a lot, and <laughs> so I'll promote her if I'm saying her name correctly. Ruby, Nora, and Penny. All one word with N instead of and. And, yeah. Um, um oh, Insane Maka Alburn. Albarn. She is awesome. I love reading her role plays. I love role playing with her. I need to do more. She's, she's really, really good. Uh... If I'm not mentioning anybody else, it's not because they're not awesome, it's because I'm forgetting things because it's nighttime and I'm not completely here. Um, I guess, I guess Winds and Gears is an OC, uh, an, a Ruby OC blog. I, I, I love them. They're really, they're fun. They're fun to, to roleplay with. Um, I need to do more with them. They're pretty sweet. Okay. Another question. What do you like to roleplay most? Fights? Love? Fluff? Drama? Well, my dear friend, I will tell you. I will roleplay almost anything. I like doing fluff. Definitely into fluff. Fluff is so fun. I don't do smut. Not at all. Don't even go near it. It's just, you know, I like to keep the purity of Ruby, <laughs> for one thing. And, uh, for another thing, I, I think I'm bad at it, and I don't really want that on my reputation, I guess. Um, so love and fluff, yes. Fights, I'm terrible at fights, so I try to avoid that as much as possible, which is fun, because it's Ruby, and they fight all the time, but hey, whatever. Drama, definitely in for the drama. As long as the drama involves, um, death... <laughs> of some sort, I'm good with it. I like that. Uh, that might sound weird or creepy, but that's how I am, so there you go. Ah, moving on. What's the hardest part about role-playing Ruby? The hardest part is not knowing what's going to happen in the future, I think. Like, you don't know how characters are going to interact with each other, how dynamics will change, because the series is really new. So I'm afraid that a lot of my headcanons or, or um, you know, how I'm portraying Ruby isn't going to be canon enough. You know, I really, really want to keep her true to the character, and without knowing the future of the show, I can't do that entirely. So, and that probably is the hardest part. Um... Moving on to non-anonymous questions. And I have some more on Tumblr that I will be bringing up as well. <sighs> Winds and Gears. With Valentine's Day coming up, do you plan on confessing to anyone, spend time with someone, or just enjoy the day by yourself? Well, if you guys have 
been reading my blog, you will know that I, um, I did confess to someone and spend time with them and enjoyed the day and very much. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, yes, I did. Uh, I was actually planning on doing this video before Valentine's Day and being all flustered and being like, oh yeah, oh, this is so cute, oh, I don't know if he's going to talk to me, but it happened and it was awesome, so that, yeah, it's good, it's all good. Uh, do you have anything or anyone to draw inspiration from? You mean besides Ruby? <laughs> um, I don't know how to answer that, actually. Um, do I have anything or anyone to draw inspiration from besides Lindsay Tuggy, Ruby, um, Montium, Miles, anybody, anyone who had to do with the show, anyone who put the, all of Rooster Teeth, putting it together, the voices, everything, they are, they are the inspiration that I draw from. Um, when it comes to, like, cosplaying, I draw inspiration from, from people I've met, you know, at, at conventions, uh, before I started role-playing, and, um, uh, before I started cosplaying as Ruby, I cosplayed as, uh, Kaylee from Firefly for a little bit, um, but Ruby really captured me, and I was just like, Ugh, I love you, you are me, let's become one, and be create this blog, and that is what happened. Yes. Moving on. Ask Blake Faunus asked me, I'm sorry I can't put these on the screen, I would love to do that. Um, ask Blake Faunus, so what made you want to be an in real life Ruby blog? Well, because in real life, I am Ruby Rose. I don't, I'm not a, rep a weapons enthusiast like she is, but I, um, I consider myself socially awkward like she is. I consider myself, um hyper and kind and optimistic when it comes to other people at least you know I feel like the very first episode I was hooked on the show I was like that is me that is absolutely me and from that moment on I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna cosplay as her I have to cosplay as her and I, I immediately stole the URL IRL dash Ruby Rose I want to make that clear because there actually is an IRL Ruby Rose one word on Tumblr, and she, the last thing she did was six months ago, maybe seven by now, but I don't know if she's still around, um, yeah. <sighs> Moving on, the Lotus of Juniper, which is Lyran, asked, what did, why did you choose your muse? I kind of already answered that because Ruby is amazing. Um, she is completely easy for me to get into character for because she basically is me at 15. Um, it was great. It was great. I, I've never related to a character so entirely. It's just incredible. Um, yeah. Okay, and then ask Jean Arc stuff, which he's, he's really cool too. You guys should check him out. Um, Two questions. How did you find out about Ruby? And why did you choose to roleplay as Ruby Rose? Besides the fact that you resemble her. Well, thank you. I'm glad I resemble her. <laughs> um, so I already kind of answered that. But how did I find out about Ruby? I found out about it through my friend who really loves Rooster Teeth. And she loved Rooster Teeth because of Red vs. Blue. I got, red, I got into Red vs. Blue. I was going to wear my jacket. That's what I was going to do. Excuse me one second. I have this jacket here that is officially a Halo 3 jacket, but as you can see, it is red versus blue. Red is the best, obviously. Let me just... yes. So we have... we've got... let me zip this puppy up. We've got... Sarge over here and Caboose over here. Sarge is the best. Red is the best. Red is the best team. Obviously. Red, Ruby, all that. 
<laughs> um, oh gosh, has that been happening this whole video? <gasps> no, don't say it isn't so. I don't want to be... Oh god. I apologize if I showed anything. I don't want to make... Mm, maybe I'll have to do this video over. Frack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my cleavage. <laughs> so that's how I found out about Ruby. Um, I have a qu I have a couple more questions here somewhere. Do do do. Let's see. So many Wukong warriors. I already answered that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, from Ruby Braunosi, who's also pretty cool. He does fight scenes that I don't really understand how to do them. Uh, video question. Are you in interested in a crescent rose? And what would you do for a Klondike bar? Okay, well, let me just, let me just say for a second. Let me just, let me just, let me just. This is my baby. This is Crescent Rose. She is <laughs> freaking enormous. Um, I made her out of poster board. She is lovely. Bow before her beauty. Um, interested in a Crescent Rose? That is my Crescent Rose, so I'm not interested in getting a new one, if that's what you're trying to say. I'm not exactly, I don't understand the question exactly. Uh... Moving on to the next question, which is on Tumblr, uh, from another anonymous. So, Ruby, this is a question to Ruby. So, let me just save this for you guys. In fact, I'm probably going to do this video over. <sighs> so that I can answer these questions entirely. The Lotus of Junior Burr again asked, does Ruby ever get in trouble while at Beacon? Well, if you read my role plays, she's gotten in not necessarily trouble, but she's done some questionable activities with Sun, um, IG, IE, EG, IE, uh, going down into the kitchen in the middle of the night and stealing two buckets, two pails of ice cream. Um, so yeah, she gets in trouble, but it's, it's mainly um, bad influences, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and, oh, Loyal Unseen Silence, who's also pretty sweet, asked, how do you get the courage to cosplay? That is an important question, and I will give an important answer. I don't know. I honestly, you know, I've been doing theater for almost all of my life. When I was a kid, I did theater, and I've done theater all through my life. And um, I've gone to conventions. I've gone to the Renaissance Festival since I was a kid. So I've always been used to seeing people in costumes. And um, I guess being able to relate to the character a lot helps immensely. Because I'm able to, you know, get into the mood, get into the groove, and be like, this is me, so go for it. And honestly, I did not expect to get so many people to follow me. This is incredible. I thought maybe two people max. No one would care. No one would think I was good enough for Ruby. People would look at my cosplay and say she's not even like, that accurate, she doesn't look like Ruby, her cosplay is mediocre, because it's, I'm, a, I'm, an am I'm an amateur, it's not great, it's not, there are people who have way better Ruby cosplays than I do, and yet, here you are, all of you, just there, and I love you all, thank you for following me, it's incredible, thank you so much, um, I don't know what else, what else I can say. Um, so, yeah. Um, trying to find any last questions on here. If there was one member of Rooster Teeth, oh, this is from 
Herr Atkins, Herr Atkins um, asked if there was one member of Rooster Teeth you could spend a day with, who would be who would it be? Lindsay Tuggy, obviously. <laughs> or Aaron. I don't know. I gosh. Maybe Gavin, because he's British. Gavin's the British one, right? I'm sorry, I'm so I'm so bad at at being a geek when it comes to Rooster Teeth. I basically just know the first like five seasons of of um red versus blue a little bit of reconstruction ruby and that's it i don't watch achievement hunter i don't um i don't watch a lot of their stuff so that's kind of ugh. and then another another um, another anonymous asked could you sing a song or read a poem in ruby's voice please i will do the poem one uh, I will not sing because I already sang and because it's nighttime and I shouldn't wake anybody up. But I will do that after this last question from Young Sun Belladonna Butt Man Can Shoku because I love you so much. I'm so glad you're alive. I'm going to murder that anonymous who told me you were dead because that is wrong. It is bad. Never do that to somebody. It is the cruelest thing you can possibly do to somebody who's lost someone in the past is by telling them that someone you love took their life. Never do that. Never. It is cruel and wrong. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> in any case, they asked, for the video, do you prefer cheeseburgers or hamburgers? Cheeseburgers. I used to love cheeseburgers so much. So much. Okay. Ruby time. Am I doing it again? Am I? No, you can. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should be more modest with you. I'm so sorry. I'm probably going to redo this entire video anyway, but what the flat? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Moving on to Ruby stuff now. Okay, so to start off, sing a song or read a poem in Ruby's voice. Well, I just, um, I just recited a sonnet for my friend Tim, um, today for Valentine's, and I suppose I can recite that as Ruby, um, so sure, let's do that. Hi, I'm Ruby, uh, Yang, Yang, sorry. Okay, I'm totally Ruby right now. Hi. Um, all right, so read a poem in Ruby's voice. Okay, here we go. Um, how does it start? Lord of my love, to whom in vassalage thy merit hath my duty strongly knit. To thee I send this written embassage, to witness duty, not to show my wit. Duty so great, which wit so poor as mine may make seem bare in wanting words to show it. But that I hope some good conceit of thine, in thy soul's thought, all naked would bestow it. Till whatsoever star that guides my moving points on me graciously with fair aspect, and puts a peril on my tattered loving, to show me worthy of thy sweet respect, then may I dare to boast how I do love thee. Till then, not show my face where thou mayst prove me. There you go. That's a poem. Now, Sketch said there were other questions for me. So, let's check those out. Where are they? Are they all the way down there? So, Ruby, are you into any video games? Video games? Sure. I, I play some video games here and there. I play, um... Let's see. I used to be into Zelda. Um... I really like Assassin's Creed. Pretty good times there. Lots of weapons. Lots of, you know, you can change them up. Fable's good. Fable's always good. Love Fable. Dude, when you when you play Fable, I'm sorry for calling you dude. Um, are you cool with that? Should I not do that? I mean, we don't really know each other that well. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm just really nervous right now. Um, yeah. The, um, 
the wolves, what are they called? In, in Fable, what are the wolves called again? I'm sorry, I'm such... I should know these things. Yeah. Um. Wolves in Fable. I'm letting you guys down. I am sorry. I am so sorry. They're not Beowulfs, are they? No, they're not. They're not Beowulfs. They're... They start with a B. Start with a B. Fable of King. Ugh. Mm. Werewolf. Balverine! That's it, Balverine! I'm really sorry. I probably wasted a lot of your time trying to do that. It's Balverine. I love the Balverines. I love destroying the Balverines. It is immensely fun. Immensely satisfying to see them do that. All right. And the last Ruby-esque ask is, can you do some of Ruby lines from the show? Any will do. Thank you. I've actually done a few lines from the show, so let's do them again because I enjoy them. Um... If I can remember them, I might have to look them up, but I want to try and remember them. Let's see. Oh, I want to help people. I mean, well, I thought I may as well make a career out of it. <laughs> I mean, the police are all right, but huntsmen and huntresses are just so much more romantic and exciting. And yeah, you know? Um, you're a huntress? Sorry, that was loud. Um, what's another one? Oh, Yang, gross! You have puke on your shoe! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Mm. Nope. You can't afford to be a failure, John. Oh, well, I like it. Not many people have an appreciation for the classics these days. Referring to his sword and shield, of course. So, I got this thing. <laughs> of course I'm happy with Crescent Rose. I just really like seeing new ones. It's like meeting new people, but better. I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. And that's all the ruby you're going to get from me today. <sighs> Shake it out. Hi. I'm back. I'm not Ruby anymore. Bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I am sorry that I'm so ridiculous right now. Ugh. Anyway, thank you for following me. I'm just going to do a shout out really quick to any blogs that I forgot about before. I can't find where I wrote them down. I'm so upset at myself for that because I literally, I, I wrote this whole list of people that I wanted to give a shout out to and there was um Wukong Warrior for being the best son I've ever role played with for being very supportive and just uh, an incredible person to talk to and and be around and all that stuff so there's one uh Jean Vomit Boyard for being the first person to role play with me um Yang Burns Gold slash the Gold Burning Beauty for giving me a chance in the Ruby Abridged and being my Yang. Um, Winds and Gears for being a great OC uh, roleplay blog and for supporting me that way and for just being an awesome friend. Um, who didn't I mention? There's a Blake that I wanted to mention. Blake. I think it was Belladonna Fauna. I don't know if it's Blake Belladonna Fauna or just Belladonna Fauna. I think it's Blake Belladonna Fauna. I don't know. She was the first Blake and the only Blake that I've roleplayed with so far. And so I wanted to give her a shout out too because she's awesome. <sighs> I don't even remember 
I'm sorry. If I left you out and you feel like you deserve a shout out, please feel free to tell me and maybe I will make another video and, and give you guys the attention you deserve. I want to thank every single one of you guys for following me and I want to thank every single one of you who actually got to this point <laughs> in the video. Thank you for sticking around so long. And here's the thing, if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to send me a comment either on YouTube or reblogging or, you know, any anywhere just to say, um, I want you to say cookies and cream and that's it. Somewhere, somewhere in a comment or something, say cookies and cream, and then I'll know that you made it all the way to the end. Yay! So that's it, guys. Thanks for following, and I love you, and yeah, I'm sorry for being so completely ridiculous and that I can't edit this. Yay! Goodbye. <laughs>